In this tutorial, I will show you how to save quiz and activities created using SoftChalk to the library and then upload them to the SoftChalk Connect website. And afterwards, after you upload to the site, I will also show you how to uh, find the link to the activities or quiz questions you posted on the SoftChalk Connect and then post them into your ePortfolio. So here is your SoftChalk application. And here are two quizzes and then here I have an activity. So first, let me show you how to save a quiz to the library. You, must, you move your mouse uh, over uh, this quiz and then you right click the mouse button on the pop-up window, you click Save to Library. And if this is the first time you save something to a library, right now you don't have any folder in the library. So the first thing you need to do is to create a new folder. Click New Folder, and then click this drop-down um, box to choose a default name, because this quiz was created using quiz poppers. So I would create a folder called quiz poppers. If you create your quiz questions using quiz groups, then you should choose quiz groups as a folder. So here I choose quiz popper, and then I click OK. So uh, a folder is created in my library. Now, in this uh, folder, I'd like to save this quiz this is a multiple choice question, and so I use MC. And also, uh, this is about evaluation of internet resources. So I can say evolve uh, just web to make it short and try to find some meaningful name so the name can tell you what uh, this is about. So now I click Save Item. So here uh, it confirms that it is saved. I click OK. Now I close this one and I'm going to save another quiz. So I right click my mouse and then choose save, save to the library. Now I already have this quiz poppers folder. So I select this folder because I want to save the second quiz also in this folder. And now I gave a name. This is a true false question. So TF. Then again, it's about uh, evaluation of internet. So uh, then web, but this is TF, no, no, not MC for multiple choice. Therefore, this is a different name from the other one. Then now I click save, click OK. Now I close again. Now uh, I'm going to show you how to save an activity. So the same as you do with the quiz, you right click the mouse button, then click Save to Library. But this time you need to create a new folder because this is an activity, it's not a quiz. Therefore, we first click New Folder, and then in the drop down, we choose Activities. Click OK. So a folder Activities is created. So we highlight this one, that means we want to save this item to the Activities folder, and then I, we gave a name. This is uh, a sorting activity. So uh, also, it is. This is about the communications technology. So I put CT here. Maybe I also attach number one because I have more activities related to uh, the communications technology. And then I click Save Item. Now I already saved all the quiz questions and activities that I want to upload to the server, to the SoftChild Connect server. And um, in the class, I think you already create your SoftChild um, Connect account. Therefore, what you need to do is now to upload all these uh, quiz questions and uh, activities to your account. Now, what you need to do is you click Tools and then choose Library because you upload all the activities to the libraries. First, let's upload all the quizzes, uh, quiz questions to, uh, to the website, the SoftChild Connect. So you need to click on the folder and then you click Publish. Now, it asks you, you need to complete 
the following metadata. Metadata is basically the information about the quiz. And you, the minimum requirements are you have to give the subjects air, subject area and the educational level. So you click OK. And then here in the subject uh, and the level here, I would say this is related to information technology. Uh, let me see if it has communications technology. No, it doesn't. And technology in general. So I choose these two subject areas. And then here it should be um, the, for the educational level, because this is very basic uh, concept of technology, I would think it's good for all different levels. And then now, of course, if you wish, you can also add your name, the author's name, and also you can add some uh, keywords. And oh, here actually it's better you choose the material type. In this case is, I would say, assessment. So mixed format because I have uh, multiple tries and true false. So I choose this one and then if you really want to do it um, to classify it better, so you can also fill in uh, the other information. But for the most part, I think that should be OK. Now you click OK. And then you want to click Publish. Now you want to publish uh, these two quiz questions. So you click the Publish button, then you will see this pop up and able to connect to the server. You click OK and then you click New. You need to make the connection. Now you should use your username and the password to log on uh, or you just created to log on to SoftChild Connect and use them to establish the connection. So I type in My and then I click OK, so now here I have my connection. Now I go back and then I choose, I click the Publish uh, tab and then click Connect. I see my account is listed here and then I click Connect and then I can see, I can connect to my SoftChild Connect space where there is uh, my Learning Objects folder. So I choose my Learning Objects folder because I'm going to publish my quiz questions and activities in this folder. So you uh, select, uh, I select this and then I click Publish. So I can, the privacy, I make it public so that everybody uh, can access that because uh, then you can connect that uh, link to your ePortfolio site and then for people who uh, visit your ePortfolio site can click that link and then uh, play the game or the activities or do the quiz questions. So you should choose the public and then click publish. Now it says uh, the quiz group has been published. Now you can see on my SoftChalk Connect space I have uh, the, the quiz poppers I just uploaded. This chemical and physical properties uh, is a quiz I created uh, some time ago. So whatever you upload before will also show up there. Now we finish this. Now let's close this. Now we want to publish the activities. So I can select the activity. You can either select the folder or activity and then you see here, let's just put some metadata here because otherwise the system will ask me to do that. So in this case, this is about technologies activity. Actually, it's a communications technology, but I don't see this category, so I just choose more general one. And then again, I would think this is good for all levels. And then now, uh, one more thing I'd like to do is material type is not tutorial, it's assessment uh, or activities. Let me see if there is a activity. Not really. So we can use this as assessment. Um, oh, here it doesn't have. Doesn't have. Maybe I can put it as. Drill and the practice. 
Now I click OK and then I click Publish. Since I already connected to my space, I'm going to publish under my uh, learning object. You have to choose this folder, otherwise the publish uh, button will not be enabled. For example, if I only uh, choose here, you see the publish button is not enabled. So I choose this one and then I click publish. Now it tells me uh, I already published. So now I'm done with my uh, soft chalk upload. Now log in to your soft chalk connect account. After you log in, you will see a screen uh, something like this. And you need to click my content link. And then underneath you click my learning objects. Remember when we upload um, all the quiz questions and activities, to the software connect, we upload uh, to my learning objects folder. Now you will see the activities and quiz questions you uploaded. You can, if you see on the right hand side, you can click view button uh, link to view it. Of course, you can also delete to remove it if you don't want to have this and then you want to upload a different one. And then uh, you can either click view or click directly on the link and then you will see the activities you just uploaded. You created and uploaded uh, here on this website. And then you click click uh, get hyperlink. So this is the URL uh, for your activity. You just uh, click Ctrl C. If you have window machine for Mac, it's command C for copy or you just right click your mouse button, choose copy. And then you go to your ePortfolio site assessment page and then paste this URL there so that when people visit your assessment page and then they can click on this link and um, to access your, to see your activity and also maybe work on your activity, your student. Now, let's see how to uh, work with the quiz questions. Now click my learning objects again. And then you can see the quiz, quiz poppers or quiz group if you upload a quiz group. And then you can click on that or click the view button there. And then you will see the quiz questions you uploaded or quiz group. And then the same thing you click get hyperlink and then copy paste this URL to your ePortfolio site assessment page. Okay, I think you, uh, you have a good idea on how to work on this assignment.